Lily Brooks O'Brien just revealed a scary health scare she had to go through. She also had major surgery that saved her life. As everyone is praying and supporting her for recovery, let's see what really happened to her. Hey everyone, welcome to Trend Street. The Y and her child star, Lily Brooks O'Brien, who plays Lucy Romilotti, isn't just an actor, she is a total talent ball. With acting being one of her important passions, she has her heart set out for singing as well. And if you haven't heard her song yet, then you are seriously missing out. If you've been a fan of her, then you know she is a total heart stealer. But recently, the 17-year-old actor just opened up about a serious health issue that has all the fans worried about her. On Instagram, Lily posted a series of pictures of her in the hospital bed, and wrote, Yesterday was a scary but validating day. I had endometriosis excision surgery. The amazing Dr. Second, Dr. Chu, and their team removed 21 endometrial adhesions that have caused debilitating pain, nausea, migraines, and more over the past three and a half years. If you didn't know, endometriosis is a disease in which tissue similar to the lining of the uterus grows outside the uterus. The endometrial tissue had spread extensively throughout her body, affecting her ovaries, bowels, intestines, and more. Her left ovary had even become distorted and fused to the tube, due to the relentless nature of endometriosis, which can be likened to having gum stuck in your body. The muscles in her pelvis were in a constant state of tension, as they tried to expel the endometrial tissue from places it shouldn't be, leading to excruciating pain and the formation of more scar tissue. She also opened up, saying that her pain was undeniably real and that she wasn't exaggerating in any way. My extreme pain from the endo is what caused me to lose weight, not an eating disorder, or IBS, or a reaction to gluten, dairy, or caffeine. The migraines were not stress or anxiety induced, it was pain and my body reacting to the endo, she stated. She also talked about how lucky she was to be diagnosed so early, because many people live with the pain for over 10 years before getting a proper diagnosis and often get told that it's in their head or they're overreacting. She's immensely thankful to Bindi Irwin for sharing her endometriosis journey on Instagram in March and for their encouraging meeting at the Steve Irwin Gala in May. This experience led her to seek answers after consulting multiple doctors in Los Angeles, one of whom recommended drastic measures, like inducing perimenopause, or using antidepressants to manage her pain, a suggestion she promptly declined. Her immense gratitude extends to finding Dr. Second and his exceptional team, even though her journey has been daunting, frightening, and isolating. She's particularly grateful to her mother, for her unwavering research efforts and refusal to accept inadequate answers. The support from fellow women like Leslie Mosier and Autumn Rodriguez, who shared their stories, made her feel less alone. The main reason for her sharing such a personal story is to help other women suffering from endometriosis show that they are not alone. Lastly, she wrote, For those who are reading this and quietly dealing with pain and no answers, please let this be your validation that your pain is real. Keep searching for answers. Our hearts go out to Lily, and thankfully, the worst is over. While she is on her path to recovery, let's all join in and show some support and prayers for her health in the comments below. Thank you for checking this video out. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel for new videos every day. Turn that bell notification on if you want to hear from us and comment down below if you've subscribed and we'll make sure to reply and thank as many of you as we possibly can.